we queer up out South Florida, creating a coalition. We the People March this Sunday. 450 anti-LGBTQ plus bills, 300 anti-abortion bills, and 54 anti-black bills. Marginalized communities in 44 states have faced withering attack this year, with the Republican-led fascists in Florida leading the way. In this week's Out South Florida, we the people say enough. I talk with organizers of this weekend's We the People March, set for Sunday at 9 a.m. in Esplanade Park in Fort Lauderdale. I've covered many rallies, marches, and protests over the past couple years, but this one stands out. LGBTQ plus groups like Safe Schools and SunServe will be there, but they'll be joined by women's groups, black and brown groups, and more. And that's the key. Create a huge coalition. When we allow ourselves to be compartmentalized, we miss the friends and allies standing right in front of us. Bertisha Combs of Florida Rising told me, quote, we embrace everybody. It doesn't have to be the same political spectrum. Everybody realizes when rights are under attack, end quote. AHF is organizing the rally here and similar events across the country this weekend. Ebony Crispin told me, quote, these bills across the nation aren't just harmful, they're violent, end quote. Anger and outrage haven't had much success deterring blatant attacks by right-wing officials supported by vile vocal minorities. However, federal courts are beginning to strike down the laws and now is the time to stand with our brothers and sisters. To learn more about the We the People March, visit WTPMarch.org. And I'm, I, there was a, a pre-March rally last Wednesday where uh, about a dozen of the groups that are going to be represented, uh, they all got together just to sort of get their uh, talking points out there and, and why it's important. And I just, I feel an energy. There was probably only 15 or 20 people at this event, but I could still feel an energy, something something brewing. Maybe it's um, maybe it's wishful thinking, but I don't really think it is because when I look at, take this in the context of uh, the Alabama trans care mm. bill being shut down by a, a federal judge, our drag ban put on hold last week, a huge accomplishment uh, uh, and milestone, and other laws being uh, put on hold, injunctions, while these work their way through the courts. It's encouraging because if the courts didn't think there was a chance it would it would win on appeal then they would have just dismissed the suit yeah. so i feel like there's some 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 momentum coming our way and it's it really good hope, right yeah. this is hope I, I get hope from this you know when, when yeah. i first spoke to ebony a couple of weeks back and she was just diehard passionate about making this happen she's like you're always asking what you can do well you can get your viewers to show up you know on july 2nd and mm -hmm. um it's just so important like i remember a couple of years ago i remember just sitting at this desk saying hey black and brown they're coming they're coming for us next right women they're coming for us and it's like nobody listened the delusion is real and now these organizations are seeing that it's not just us it's women it's black and brown it's um you know undocumented folks i mean everybody they're going after everyone you know the only way to win this is to unify and july 2nd will be a great start of that absolutely you know there's a historical lesson right because during hitler and the nazis Right. Th that was the saying, you know, when they came for the Catholics, I said mm -hmm. nothing. Right. And, when they, and pretty soon one day there's nobody left to stand up for you. So I, I'm hoping that the different groups, which sounds so weird, right, because we all like live here. Mm -hmm. But and a the bunch different, of us mark off a bunch of, a exa bunch of exactly. Too. We're like all across. The, but hopefully they're finally realizing that, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be me. If they come after you, I need to show up for you. Yes, right. right. You had made a, a post a long time ago, and it came up as a reminder. You know those Facebook memories, mm -hmm. and you had <laughs> yeah. said, "I hope that gay men, when they were when they struck down abortion, yeah. you said, I hope gay men don't have to wait for it to be about gay men before they stand up for us with the abortion act.' Yeah. And it's that type of thing that we can't wait so long to build these coalitions. I, I yeah. We need to other, stay in community. I said that on another show the other day, and, and actually, you know, we have to find common cause with, like, in, in this case, particularly yes. women and, and yeah. the current, you know, wave of anti-abortion laws in the country. And one thing that I was uh, um, greatly surprised during the Stonewall Pride, there were a lot of people collecting signatures yes. at, the, at the festival yes. to support that. Yes. Uh, um, um, I have a link. I have a link. Everyone has to sign it. Okay. I could pass it out. We can put it on the Queer News website somewhere. It's a link. We need 990,000 signatures. Right. 
to get abortion on the ballot. We only have until December. That's right. We need to collect about 1.2 million signatures because they're going to throw a bunch out. Mm -hmm. And so this way, once they throw out their percentage, we'll still have enough to make it on the ballot. But we only have between now and December to get about 600,000. Wow. We have about 300,000. Yeah, right. We need about 600,000 more. The now, this takes you... Um, downloading the piece of paper, signing it, and mailing it in. Mm -hmm. It's not really a lot of effort, but it's a lot of effort in today's times, right? People yeah. are like, I can't just sign online. No, they need to read your signature. They need to know that you vote here. They need to know that you live here. Yeah. So please take the five minutes yeah. <laughs> and mail yeah. and mail and, it, and mail and, and it. Mail it. My, my, and my mail uterus it. is screaming. Yeah. Yes. Would be so kind. Like yeah. Screaming for other reasons. <laughs> but, but if, but, and, and I can just piggyback on what you were saying. I piggyback you all the time. Um, <laughs> if I could just uh, add to that. Make eye contact with the people with the clipboards right. outside of Publix. I don't want to either. I don't. I just want to come in and get my chicken tender sandwich and and go. <laughs> but don't dismiss but, them. But to, don't dismiss them. Find out what what they're collecting for because I've I've been approached three yes. times now. I signed yeah. up the first time, politely declined the other two. But um, people are out there with the, with the yes. with the uh, right. clipboards Please. and the petition. You don't even have to Please. then print something and no, post it right. and and all that. So. Make the eye contact. You know, it's, it yes. can be easy yeah. if, if the pr situation presents itself. And That's it is right. across Broward County right That's now. Right. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. all over. Okay, so and Miami-Dade so and if, everywhere. If you, wanna, if you want that yeah. link, follow me on social media and I'll get that link for you. All right? All right. Fantastic. All right. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community. We educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.